you can, you can never question the character of your players. So I'm sure you had no doubt that they put in that performance against Stevenage after Saturday's defeat. Oh, no, you, 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 you always go into the game and, and you have an expectation of your players. You still know, Cal, they've still got to go out and still perform and anything can happen. But it was good to see that they went out and, and did a good job and, and got a valuable three points and, and another clean sheet. So plenty of positives and it's always difficult midweek, but after, especially after such a big game on a Saturday to go out and get our three, three points was, was, was huge for us. And just speaking to Kane Hemmings just then, he said it was good to have the chance to play again so soon because you don't want to let it fester during the week, do you? No, you, you, it is, it's, that's true. But it's important that, that when you do get the, the, the game on a Tuesday that you, you, you get the result, which we, we, we have done. So it allows us now to draw a line under things and, and move forward again with the lessons that we learned from the, the, the game on the Saturday. Um, moved on to the game on Tuesday and now we move on to another big game at the weekend. And how much does this show how good they are mentally when you can shake off a type of result like that and get a positive result in the next game? Is it something you learn during your career or is it inbuilt in them? I think it can be learned, but they have relationships now built throughout the group with the club, with the fan base, with each other, with the, with the staff that builds that connection that, that's needed now, that togetherness to, to go and help each other to, to, to keep going forward now. So there's a great togetherness among them. Um, and we, we'll carry on uh, building on their relationships and hopefully we can we can keep being successful. I know it's nice to win 2-3 or 4-0, but that was your eighth 1-0 in the league. Does a 1-0 give you more satisfaction as you can back yourself to score, see out the game, keep a clean sheet as well? Because as a fan, I love the 1-0. <laughs> I just like to win. Good to get the clean sheet, good to get the victory. We don't set it just to make it 1-0. It's just the way it's gone. Um, but the, but we'll, if we go 1-0 until the end of the season, winning, then I'll be delighted. And we know the old champ, 1-0 to the Arsenal, don't we? So, you know, lots of teams have won titles by winning 1-0. So that's a good sign, isn't it, as well? It's just a good sign that we're, we're keeping clean sheets and getting results. That's what you try and do. That's the first thing you try and do at the start of the season is, is work a way of trying to score goals and try to keep clean sheets because that's... That's the formula that you need in order to try and win games of football. I just spoke to Cabe Herrings. He's yet to score, but he set up the winning goal on Tuesday. Um, a nice layoff. How important is it for a player to, even though he's not scoring, he is getting involved in the in the goals themselves? And, you know, do you see a goal coming from him soon as well? Yeah, and he hit the post, so he was unlucky with that. But he, it's all about contribution and at the end of the day, we are a team. It is, yeah, it's important for the strikers or themselves and for us to for them to score goals. But the most important thing is, is that everybody makes a contribution towards the, the team trying to get victories, and he's certainly doing that. Uh, he'll want to score goals because that's what he's he's all about. But as long as the team's winning, we, we, we have no problem with that. And you brought in Lewis Warrington from Everton this week. Tell us about what he can bring to your side. We're really excited about getting Lewis across here. There's a lot of clubs who would have liked to have had the opportunity that we've now been presented with. It's great that we're building their relationships with the local clubs, big like Premier League clubs um, and the teams in Scotland in order to build good teams. We need good players and Lewis Warrington is a, is a very good player. His first day of training was today and he showed all the qualities that we, we expected um, even at this early stage. So now we're really pleased to, to, be, um, to be here and and uh, we're looking forward to helping him with his development moving forward. And for fans who don't know what he's like, what kind of player is he? He's industrious, he's very technical, huge energy, very competitive. He's pretty much an all-round midfield player. You, you couldn't really pigeonhole him, don't you say that he's, he's a holding midfield player, he's an attacking midfield player, he's a, he's a good mix of both, very competitive and, of course, local. So he knows what it means to the local people, what Tranmere means to the, the, the local people. So it's a, it's a win-win for us. So we're delighted to have him here for till the end of the season and we look forward to him keep progressing forward with us. And on your January as a whole, how satisfied were you with the transfer-wise? And you know, Did you want more or did you get what you needed? I think we got what we needed. We would like maybe one, one more, but we should weren't quite able to get done. But we're, we're pleased with the group looking at it now. We've done really well, so always be positive and 
when you look around the place and you look at the amount of talent and the amount of winning mentality that we have in the building, the good mixture of youth and experience, we've, we've got to be pleased with that. So we're, we're in a good place coming out of a, which is always a difficult window, we're, we're, we're pleased where we've come out of. And so you're confident that you can, you've got enough to attack the end of the season now? I'm confident to know that we can attack tomorrow. We'll train well tomorrow and then we know we've got a difficult game on Saturday. That's what we'll do. We've got a really difficult game on Saturday. We'll put a team together that we believe can go up there and what we always say, represent Tramia properly and go and take part in which will be a very difficult game. But we'll, we'll surely play with partner and go and battle for another three points and that's as far ahead as we, we will look. And it is Barrow this weekend. They're not in the position they'd want, but they did get a brilliant result at Northampton, didn't they, as, as well? Um, and it's not an easy place to go, is it, Barrow, either? No, always a difficult game. Really committed group of players. Good players. So, if we know we're best, we know we'll have a very difficult afternoon. It's always a difficult place to go. So, we'll, we'll know that we go up there and we're going to have to be a good version of ourselves to get something. And any fitness issues ahead of the game? Usual bumps and bruises that you get because we're playing two games a week, but we have a squad that can deal with that, so we'll, we'll, we'll get on with that and we'll just give somebody else an opportunity if they need to come in. Brilliant. Cheers for that. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, right, Mickey. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. You? Yeah, not too bad. Um, Saturday's game against Barrow, it's, uh, uh, it starts a run of five away trips in four weeks. How's the squad going to deal with all that travel? On the bus. <laughs> 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 on the walk, mate, that's for sure. <laughs> they just take every, every game, just, just go on, mate. It's sad. It's, we're enjoying our football. We don't care where we play. We're bored. It's, um, every, every week's another challenge. Tough challenge this weekend. Excited about it. Want to go and see how we can go and deal with that challenge and go and try and pick up another three points. Couldn't even tell you who the four games are after that, if I'm honest with you. And because I'm just solely focused on this game. And then when I need to pick up for Tuesday, which I do know, sorry, it's Swindon Tuesday. That. So, no, one game at a time, one day at a time. And we'll be ready. Yeah, and it's not actually long since you faced Barrow Boxing Day 2-0 uh, win. Wouldn't you be happy taking something like that again? Well, without a doubt, yeah. All day. It's going to be a difficult game. Never have two games ever been the same. Played each other reasonably uh, soon. Uh, uh, close to the two fixtures. So it, it will make for a, for a really tough game, but I really mean that will be a tough game, but we're, we're looking forward to it. And is there any chance of an update on Tom Davis, Jay Spearing and Josh McPaig? Um, Spearing and McPaig both went off on Saturday. Uh, Tom Davis trained today, so he's fine. Um, Spearing has a knee injury, so he won't be available for the weekend. And um, Josh McPaig trained today. Is there any kind of time frame on the spearing injury or is it too early to say? Probably too early to say, yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll just go on with that. And the game on, on Tuesday it was another one where sort of it, football would be the, in the eye of the, the beholder. And, but you keep having games like that uh, that are sort of just down to getting the three points. And <clears throat> Saturday, is that going to be another case of that? especially travelling up to Barrow. It's, it, like, like Carl said earlier, it's not an easy place to travel to. Not an easy place to go. It'll be a difficult game. We'll need to find a way of getting three points if we're able to do that. So we know it's going to be tough. And we need to find a way. And that's what we've been good at. We'll find a way. We'll try and find a way and, and try and get another value of three points. That's, that's what we'll be absolutely focused on trying to do. And Carl mentioned, Carl mentioned him earlier. Uh, Lewis Warrington, any chance of him being in the squad on Saturday? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we took him from Everton, as we have done with other loan players, um, that we will bring him here and, and try and help him develop. We haven't brought him here to, uh, to just keep the company. He'll be coming here to, to take a big part uh, in the, the coming 18 games and uh, help us to, to, to keep on, on trying to get results. And what's it like from a manager's perspective when, you, when you've got players in on loan and you, you're being expected to develop them, what's it like knowing that they won't be with you next season? Uh, not always. It doesn't, doesn't bother me because if you get good players, you just need to win games of football. You always deal with what you've got today and today you've got this group of footballers to help us try and get a result on Saturday. 
that's what you try and do. And among that, we've got players that we're trying to develop and bring on um, ourselves, younger players. But it's listen, it's, it's 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 what it is at these at, at, at League Two level. You you get the opportunity to bring in good players from big Premier League clubs that you believe can make you better. Um, and then the opportunity is there for the big clubs to get up to us to try and bring them forward that the next steps. So it's a win-win for everybody. So we we are, we've done well at it this season. We've got some really good loan players in who have made big impacts for us. And I'm sure that the next one, Lewis Warrington, will do the same. Is there any issues ever with tr sort of getting loan players to buy into a club's mentality? Yeah. Yeah. But you've got to do your homework. We have a good recruitment policy. You've got to do all the, the, the necessaries in order to try and give yourself the best chance of making sure that that doesn't happen. So when you speak to the player, you tell them how we operate and how we want to play. And even before that, is it the right player that we believe that we need to bring in that's going to be able to play in our style of football or live in our culture and how we do things? Lewis Warrington is absolutely ticks every box for us. And we're delighted that he's here among all the other loan players and young players and that are in the building. So he's, he's, he's a great addition to the group. And then you've been on a great run, a great run, obviously, with, with, even with the Forest Green game. It's 28 points out of the last 33 possible in the league. A run like that just gives you an unbelievable amount of confidence, doesn't it? Absolutely. And, and, and you don't even enjoy watching us. So... <laughs> uh, it's been strange, doesn't it, to, to, to say that. Um, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep getting results, keep winning games of football, and hopefully you enjoy watching it someday. Oh, trust me, I do. I do. I enjoy the football a lot. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, I fully buy into the idea that every style of football is valid, and your style of football I particularly enjoy. And yeah. that, that's not me just saying it because you're no, sat there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honest with you. I, you're, you're, you're entitled to be honest with me. I, I, and I will, I, I will be, I promise. <laughs> no problem, no problem, bro.